So let's say you have a cardiac arrest and you need to hook the patient up to the pads. This right here is the cord that you want to use for the pads. The end looks just like this. You just take this off and this end goes into the pads. So as I'm doing this, hooking up the pads and placing them on the patient, we're seeing a shockable rhythm. Push, analyze. The computer recognizes that this is a shockable rhythm and it's asking you to analyze. So what you do is come over to the analyze button right here. Analyzing now. Stand clear. Make sure everyone is clear of the patient. Shock advised. And it's telling you to go ahead and shock the patient. So you're looking around. Stand clear. Making Push sure shock button. No one is near. Our shock button is right here. Once again, check that no one is touching the patient. And you can go ahead and shock. Start CPR. Now the great thing about the Life Pack 15, it automatically starts counting down for you. And it also starts the CPR metronome, which tells you how often you should be doing compressions. Now if you think you're too good for that, or maybe you got a horrible headache and you don't like headaches and CPR, they just don't mix, and you want to turn it off, all you have to do is come over to the CPR button and click it once and it's silenced. Also, it tells you how many shocks have been given. So far, we've only given one shock. And that's how you work a cardiac arrest. Once this comes down, it's going to ask you to reanalyze. This is the point at which you do check for a pulse and all that and hit the analyze button again. All right, just for fun, we're going to see what happens when someone hyperventilates. So I want to go ahead and get some waveform things on here. I got my waveform capnography down below. And for what the heck, let's get the SpO2 right over here. Okay. So, I'm going to start hyperventilating. Well, first, I'm going to get a normal breathing pattern down below here. And then I will start hyperventilating. I'll give you a thumbs up. So this is me staying relatively still, and this is me hyperventilating. <sighs> Woo! I am feeling lightheaded. As you can see, my heart skyrocketed, went up very tachycardic, my SpO2 was really high because I was retaining all my oxygen, my CO2 went extremely low to about 21 because I was blowing off all my carbon dioxide. That's what happens 
when you get a patient that is hyperventilating. Now, let's say that I have finished my transport and I want a code summary of all the vitals that I took. All I do is come over to a code summary and it starts printing out. It's also going to print out the waveform, but I'm going to stop it right before that it does that because I don't want to waste the paper. All right. So now that I have gotten my code summary, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the monitor. Now when you look at this, we are given the times that vitals were taken. It tells you when you took a BP, another BP, a couple of vital signs. It has heart rate if they were attached to the heart monitor with electrodes. We have the SpO2, the pulse rate, the carbon monoxide, the carbon dioxide, my respiratory rate, and my BP. And these are great when you forget to write a, a specific vital down. And if I had put in the name and all that, it would appear up here. Remember that I turned off the machine and turned it back on so I could get a fresh set of vitals. And that is how you use the LifePack 15.